All right, quick update. You can see the canard is finished. Fully covered and everything. We've got a, this is a fluorescent red with a chrome. This is um, Ultra Coat, both of them. Iron on, iron on Ultra Coat. And uh, we've got our, our chrome wheel pants, if you will. And of course we've got our servos installed. Um, and she looks great. Let me see if I can pan back a little bit. You can see the whole thing. There we go. I'm particularly proud of these um, wheel pants, as you can see. And of course, it looks very similar to our finished uh, quickie over here. I just think the wheel pants looking like that, it just makes them pop. So it looks great. All right, so now we're going to go ahead, we'll get going with the uh, with the wing, which you see lying over there upside down. And the next thing we cover, and then we'll hit the fuselage. And we're coming to the end of this whole project. Now, we'll tell you one thing I did is I took clear monocoat that you can see here, and I cut a half inch piece, folded it in half, put it in the oh, put it in the gap here, and then ironed it in place. Now, when you do that, you want to make sure you, you fully deflect fully deflect the surface downward, okay, uh, before you do that. Don't leave it straight, otherwise it'll, it'll hinder the, uh, the amount of uh, deflection. So always make sure it's all the way uh, opposite the, the side that you're putting it on. So since I was putting on the top, I'd want to deflect, deflect this down. If I was putting on the bottom, I'd want to deflect it up. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, um, what that does, it helps to close the gap, allows for less chance of a flutter, better response from the controls and even uh, some increased lift as well because you don't have that gap in between. But I learned from doing the other canard that you need a bit of a gap uh, in order to get the proper deflection that's needed. So that's pretty much it, but uh, she looks great and I'm very proud of her. More to come.